Now let's talk about volcanoes. I'm pretty sure you have seen them or heard about them, right? Maybe in a movie or in a YouTube video or something. Right? We would have seen the, that the, these are these mountains that spew out lava and a lot of hot stuff and create a lot of death and destruction. Well, they are, yeah, volcanoes are just that. They are something very similar to that. But the question is, where do they come from? Why, why does this happen? Or like randomly, how, why does the earth sort of push out such hot and devastating stuff? Well, the thing is, the inside the earth, there's a lot of heat and there's a lot of pressure. Okay, And everything that's inside the earth is all molten because of this heat. Like all the metals inside, they're all in, in the liquid state or in the semi-liquid state because of this heat and this pressure. And you can say that the earth is something like a pressure cooker. Now, when you cook something at home in a pressure cooker, you know as the pressure increases, it becomes very unstable, right? The weight, for example, that holds the pressure inside gets pushed out because of the pressure. Now, something very similar happens in the case of a volcano. Now, all this, as I said, as the earth is has a lot of heat and pressure inside, there are sometimes movements on the surface of the earth. The land masses move and it creates weak points on the surface, similar to the hole in the pressure cooker. So basically, a sudden hole will erupt and this pressure will push out all the molten stuff that's inside the earth outside, right? And that's what a volcano is, basically. Now, the reason you see most of the times volcanoes in, say, mountain, like a mountain kind of a, a structure is because volcanoes, they, they occur frequently in the same spot. So when the lava comes out, right, the molten stuff comes out, it solidifies and creates a kind of a mountain or a hill. That's why most active volcanoes look like that. Now, volcanoes obviously have a lot of issues as well because they give out all, all this destructive stuff. They also give out smoke and sulfur, very things that really cause a lot of death and destruction. So generally, when there's a volcanic eruption, the people around it or even a plant and animal life around it gets destroyed. And also, of course, once the molten lava solidifies, it forms new landforms. Now, the interesting thing is, volcanoes can occur at sea as well. It's not necessary that it has to occur at land. At sea, there are volcanoes that are underwater. Now, when the, these volcanoes erupt, they give out again a lot of lava and this lava solidifies and they can actually form islands above the volcano. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's, the learning app today.